Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Gelato Print On Demand. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you start using Gelato here? So first things first is we need to visit their official website, which is going to be gelato.com. Now from their website, there's going to, be, going to be some information or a bit of information to show you or discuss with you what the platform is all about. In this case, when you scroll down a bit here, it's going to give you like sell globally and produce locally. So it means that you could sell globally. So they actually support a bit uh, a, a number of countries here. So they also have the e uh, easy to use options, and you also they also have like twenty four seven customer support here, which is something really really cool. Now, also, they have different uh, products that you could sell, uh, sell here and even connect your already existing stores like Shopify, Etsy, Squarespace, Wix, BigCommerce, and WooCommerce itself. Now, you also have the option here, like for example, the apparel uh, section, which in this case, you could actually design t-shirts, uh, hoodies, even design wool art, des uh, design with drinkware, like mugs, and even accessories here if you want to. Now, if you want to view all the products they have, you could go ahead and click on view all products here. But in this case, for us to get started, we first have to create our account. Now, to create an account, you just need to click on the sign up for free at the top right here. And from here, what you need to do is you just need to fill out all the history details. Now, the great thing about this platform here is you can actually sign up with your Google account or your Facebook account or your Apple account, which is something really cool if you want to connect your two accounts here. But in this case, I already have my account here. So let's go ahead and click on sign in here. But if you don't have your account hand yet, you make sure to create yours and just fill out all the history details. But for now, let's go ahead and click on sign in with Google here. Choose our email. And from here, we want to basically log in. Now, the first thing that you'll see once you've created your account in Gelato is going to be your dashboard. Now, your dashboard contains uh, different uh, things that you do here, like designing products, connecting stores, and whatnot. So in this case, at the homepage here, you'll be able to see the homepage. So like, for example, if your account is furthering you, it's going to show you the getting started section here. So what is uh, Gelato here? What uh, is the uh, print on demand or POD and Gelato? So getting started with Etsy, uh, getting started with Shopify here. So there's a lot of articles to give you here on the home page but when we go to product catalog here you should be able to see a different uh, products that you could get like for example uh, you have men's clothing here women's clothing wall art hats mugs phone cases photo books cards and a lot more you might notice that they don't have necessary designs here as you can see there's only like a black shirt uh, a black shirt here a white shirt or just a blank canvas here because the great thing about gelato here is we could design our products here in this case i uh, will be going back later on on how to design our products here but first let's explore the other sections here as well now the order section here actually gives you a way to uh, basically view all the orders that you have right now so the orders they have on your account may be uh, categorized into different parts like we have pending approval not connected on hold, field draft pass in production and whatnot so if you want to view a specific product like for example a list of products in drafts you should be able to see it in the draft section here but in this case let's go ahead and go to the other sections here as well so you have the personalization studio here which in this case uh, gives you introduction uh, introduction to uh, print print uh, personalizing uh, your product so the uh, brings together your creations and automation tools for setting personal products for designing to fulfillment but in this case I uh, will want to discuss other sections here as well so let's go to templates now templates is a great way for you to uh, basically add templates to your account so for example you don't want to uh, design a product uh, every time that you want to uh, sell something so creating a template here can be a uh, really be huge help for you now, you also have the branded package uh, packaging here. Uh, for example, if you go to configure here, you should be able to add branded labels or packaging inserts if you want to. But again, uh, these uh, add-ons is uh, typically cost a specific amount. So depending on where you're currently located, the amount itself might change. So in my case, uh, it's going to be 43.31 PHP. Now, in this case, you have packaging inserts. So if you want to activate those specific uh, configurations, you just click on activate label or activate inserts here, and you should be able to activate them and design them for you. But in this case, uh, this feature is not actually for free, so you need to have a premium uh, premium or upgrade plan in Gelato for you to start using it. 
Now we also have analytics here, which uh, gives you uh, from the name itself analytics. So if you want to learn more about your store, how it's actually doing. So like for example, number of orders, production to country, sold products, total costs, and orders by country here. You should be able to see different data here once you start selling products. Now we also have the price navigator here. So in this case, you should be able to see the prices for your products. But again, it doesn't ha show anything yet because I haven't added any products yet. Now, in this case, we also have the mockup studio here, but mockup studio is part of the Gelato Plus or premium plan that you have. So you need to have a plan for that. But they also have they also have a free uh, trial here if you want to try using it as well. Now, they also have developer here if you want to view the API documentations, API keys and webhooks and a lot more. But the section here is quite advanced. So if you're not a developer, I suggest not a t uh, uh, actually going to the section here just to uh, not uh, ring things here now in this case what we need to do is we want to start connecting our stores because again we could actually connect our stores into a uh, gelato now in this case maybe i want to uh direct uh connect my shopify account so let's go and click on shopify here but you could choose either etsy woocommerce wix or squarespace or big commerce if you want to so in this case let's go and click on install to confirm the installation here and from here, it should redirect us to another page here, which in this case, we should be able to click on install to install the app itself for Gelato. And once it's actually installed, we should be able to uh, integrate our store into uh, Gelato. It might take a while, so let's just wait for it to load up. And as you can see, once it's actually collect, uh, uh, connected, as you can see, it's going to say, how would you like to import the process, uh, import and process orders? So in this case, you could choose automatically or manually. So I would suggest you to use the automatically here so because it, it actually imports all future orders, future orders into that to automatically and send orders to production automatically as well. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on uh, the option here that says create new product since we want to start creating our products. So in this case, it's going to redirect us to product catalog. So maybe I want to design a, a men's uh, clothing uh, shirt here. So let's go choose men's clothing. And we want to choose maybe we want to design hoodies. Now from here, let's go and choose the type of hoodie that we want to design. So maybe I want to use this hoodie here. Let's go ahead and choose this one. And we will be able to start designing our product. So let's go ahead and click on next here. And from here, it's going to give you a, a short a tutorial on how to uh, do things here. But again, it's actually pretty easy to use as long as you've used like editing softwares before, like uh, drag and drop, like Canva. It's going to be quite simple. So first things first is we want to go to files here because we want to upload our photos. So go to uh, go, let's go and choose file here. And we want to go ahead and click on my device and choose a photo that we want to use. So maybe I want to use a image here. So maybe I want to use this one. Click on open. From here, let's go ahead and press and hold on it and drag it into our Canva or our shirt here. So in this case, make sure that your picture actually fits uh, this area square, small square area here because that's the printing area. So that's where your photo would actually appear. So anything excess of that, it's not going to appear on your hoodie or in your design. So make sure it's within that square. Now, in this case, if you also want to add text, like for example, uh, let's go ahead and click on text here. Let's go ahead and add text and we want to uh, drag it. Uh, maybe I want to click on this empty space first. Click on this one and want to say this is going to be a uh, quick text here. Let's just say um, Mary. And from here, we could just basically uh, add whatever design here. You have the personalized, personalized option. Like if you want to add photos from Shutterstock, you can even do that. Add shapes, uh, warnings, layouts. Uh, settings, uh, graphics, uh, collections. So there's a bunch of things that you could do here to customize your uh, hoodie, your shirt, or your products. But in this case, once you've added or once you've actually uh, done all the editing that you've done, uh, added, you could go ahead and click on the continue to mockups at the top right of your screen. Now from here, it's going to say select mockups. So some of mockups are created in the uh, party fic. In this case, uh, maybe I want to add a mockup for uh, this one. So this is the default one. So maybe we want to add a mockup for this one as well. But you need to have, as you can see, uh, it has that uh, crown uh, icon and it means it's not for free. So you need to have the uh, to plus for you to use that. But for now, we're just going to use this one. Let's go ahead and click on the continuity details here. 
And from here, you should be able to see the details of your product. So you could add your title, description, and even see the choose metric measurement systems here if you want, attach care instructions if you want to, even add tags, collections if you want to as well. So in this case, let's go ahead and proceed with the prices. And in the prices, you should be able to determine what is the prices of your product. So it depends on your size here. Like for example, for 5, uh, 5XL, you can change the price for that. So for example, if you want to make this a flat 20, you could do that as well. And in this case, maybe I want to make this as 90 itself. So in this case, let's go and click on update here. And once you've done that, you could either publish this already or just click on the save as template option. Now, in this case, um, what we need to do is let's go ahead and click on publish here. And from here, as you can see, it's going to redirect you to my store. So in this case, it's going to actually start adding that product. So let's just wait for it. And as you can see, we now have added our product into our Shopify store. So using the platform itself is actually pretty easy. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.